Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So they posted a new teaser trailer for the second half of the season, and this is probably the best one. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to go check it out, but this one is probably the best teaser trailer that they released. A lot of shots here of Alpha, a lot of shots of just like the aftermath of a battle, and some really interesting trips to the to meet the Commonwealth shots, and also some stuff that I definitely think is related to Michonne's final episode. And so I want to talk about this because I think this teaser trailer here is basically teasing everything happening from episode 11 on. There might be a few shots in here, obviously, from the mid-season premiere or in episode 10, but I feel like the bulk of this, at least some of the more interesting shots anyways, are from episode 11, 12, obviously, and 13. I really do think this shot here of Alpha, with all the blood and stuff, I think this is from 13. It, it has to be. I think this is from her final episode. Now she might be killing Lydia here or something, or she's... I don't know what she's doing here. Maybe it's beta, maybe... I have no idea. I mean, obviously, you can't see anything, so... Of course, before we begin any further, I do have the warning for spoilers for the first half of Season 10, and obviously spoilers for the Whisper War arc in the comic. And also, if you're new to the channel and you want more walking to content like this, make sure to be a subscriber. The show is coming back in 12 days. They're releasing a lot more stuff. This thing here I was super excited to see. I review every single episode. I also do trailer breakdowns. And I also do news breakdowns whenever there's like news coming out. Like anything that's like breaking news and stuff like that. I imagine very soon we're going to find out a lot of stuff about the Rick Grimes movie. I don't think any time in the next couple of weeks. But maybe in like five weeks or five or six weeks. Around mid-March to late March I think. Whenever Michonne's final episode is. Which I think is around mid-March. Like around expect something there for sure. But this trailer is just really epic. I mean, it's Alpha saying, can you see beyond the darkness and on all that? You have this really, really gorgeous shot here of Alpha. And I mean, uh, this shot here, this is why I love the Whispers so much. I mean, the Whispers, they are my favorite villains of the series. They're just so badass. They're cool. And I just love the down to earth feeling. I know with the Savior arc and stuff, it was for the most part, like very much down to earth. The Walking Dead does that obviously really well. I think that's why... I think that's why they're so good at doing the zombie stories because they make it so realistic. But I think certain things in the Savior arc with like Shiva and stuff like that was just, it was a little weird. And that was because it happened in the comic and that is why they did that. But if, if anything, I feel like that's one thing they probably should have taken out. It is hard because how do you not have Shiva or King Ezekiel and like the kingdom on the show, right? Like you kind of need that. I really like Ezekiel as a character. It just really changed The Walking Dead when he came on. And not just him, like also Negan as well. And obviously these characters I love on the show. So that's not to say that Angela King isn't going to be getting into some of the weirder stuff from the comic. Because we're going to be meeting a character later on named the Princess. Who wears this really pink, like feathery coat. That's going to be very comic booky. I really look forward to seeing what's going to happen there. But Alpha and the Whispers. I mean, they are probably just some of the greatest villains ever. I mean, they're literally, they look like the dead, but they're not, right? And they believe in so much of, I guess, what you would imagine the dead would believe in. Which is, this is the new way of life and all that. And I don't know, just seeing this shot here of Alpha, it's like, it brings back those old feelings. It's almost like nostalgic, even though it was like a year ago to when we first saw Alpha with her mask on. I can't believe this arc is coming to a close already and the whispers are wrapping up, but I've really enjoyed it. I really I did enjoy it, and I, I, I can't wait to see how they're going to wrap up this arc. We have this shot here of Negan, and he has Lucille here, and it looks like it's in the, in the aftermath of, I'm guessing, the battle at the hilltop. It is hard to say, because this might not be in the aftermath of that battle. It could be, maybe it's just early morning, it's just a very cloudy day, and that's kind of what we're seeing here. But just because of it looks like there's a lot of bodies on the ground, I think this is the aftermath of the battle of the hilltop, and I think this shot here is happening in episode 13. It's just my prediction, but the way I see it, episode 11 is going to have that big battle because 9 and 10 are going to be all that setup stuff. We talked about this so many times. Based on the early reviews out there too, that seems to be right. It seems like those first two episodes are really just a lot of... A lot of stuff goes on. It's not, I shouldn't say it's set up. It's not really. It's set up for the battle, but it, a lot of stuff happens. They're definitely not like set up episodes like the first half of the season was. But I think the battle is going to happen in 11. And I don't think we're going to see the aftermath of the battle in that episode. Maybe somewhat as it relates to some of our characters, but not as it relates to the Whisperers. Again, 12 is going to be Michonne's final episode. I don't think they're going to shove in any kind of Whisperer storyline. There might be something there, but they really want to give Michonne all the spotlight. They want to give her everything. And so that's why I think this shot here, it makes sense that it could be happening very early on in episode 13, which is going to be very Alpha and Negan focused. And yeah, it's going to be the, the episode where we say goodbye to Alpha. 
this shot really did give me Game of Thrones vibes. It just, it did. It kind of like after the battle, I guess the long night, right? It didn't really seem like the long night, but this gives me Game of Thrones vibes. And I, I really am just hoping that the battle is epic. We haven't really seen a Whisperer battle yet for the most part. We've seen things happen but not on this scale, and so I'm hoping that it's not so so much like grandiose, but that it makes sense. It makes sense. You have these group of people here, you have a bunch of zombies, you have this community that has a lot of weapons, and just make it very grounded, you know what I mean? Like, don't, don't marvel it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But Negan having Lucille here, this confirms that, like, like I was saying, Negan versus Beta, that is happening. At, at this point here, he does have Lucille. This could be the bat that he just created, or I guess Brandon created for him, right? I'm not exactly sure, but like maybe he doesn't actually ever find Lucille and he just has this bat now. Regardless, I'm sure it's amazing, and I'm sure he actually has the mask on too. And then we have this shot right here, which made me have like a heart attack for a second, because obviously this looks a lot like the shot from season one, episode one, I believe, where Rick was entering Atlanta. It, it, it just, it looks like the shot. It's shot in the same way where they're walking down this road and you see the horses and someone has a cowboy hat. Like I thought that was Rick on the right and Michonne on the left. And this was a part of her final episode. I was like, wait, what? I actually thought they got Andrew Lincoln to come back for her final episode. I was going to flip out. But no, when you cut back to the next shot here, you see Eugene and then you see Ezekiel and Yumiko. Now, we've seen some other photos that were released of these three characters in a city-like environment. I did see some people say in the comments after I said it's a city-like environment that, well, no, it's not. You just see that little, well, that wall there on the side. But it's, it's probably not a city-like environment. Like, you're assuming too much there. Well, I think this here practically confirms that. They're traveling here to the Commonwealth, and it looks like it's happening a lot sooner than we're thinking. Again, the battle is probably going to happen in episode 11, and Eugene is at that battle, so this is happening at some point afterwards. It's not happening in 12 because it's Michonne's final episode. Could happen in 13, but I think this is from 14. So to get footage from way later on, that's kind of shocking to me, but I think it's very smart on AMC's part. It, it really hypes up the fan base. I mean, just seeing this right here, I am so excited for the next arc. Like, I'm going to enjoy this Whisper arc, definitely. But I am like unbelievably hyped for the Commonwealth arc to actually see them and what they're going to look like in those white suits. How are they going to handle that? How are they going to get into more original material? I, I mean, I'm sure these three characters here are going to be the ones that run into Maggie, right? And then we get some shots here of Carol. It looks like she's gone out of the cave. Obviously, we knew she was getting out of the cave. We have this shot here of her. And then we just have some more shots of Alpha. We have this shot here of Daryl and Judith. Now, I think this is before Judith repairs the wing on Daryl's vest. So this could be from episode 10. Whenever this moment happens, in my opinion anyways, I don't think Michonne is around yet. Like, I don't think while this scene is happening, Michonne already left and she's like sad about it and Daryl's just comforting her. I don't think it's happened yet. I think they're just going to be talking about, you know, Connie and obviously Judith is going to miss Michonne and stuff. And then I think that's when Judith goes to fix his vest and that gives him more inspiration to, I guess, want to want to keep fighting right we have some really cool battle shots here of eugene rosita we have yumiko in the back there and this is at the battle of the hilltop likely happening in episode 11 really awesome shot here of Aaron, and we have all these action shots here with this really cool shot here of luke it seems like what the whisperers did here for a battle plan is they unleashed a lot of zombies or i guess walkers sorry they unleashed a lot of walkers first to so i guess distract them and have them at their gates to weaken their defenses and that's what they're doing here. And then the Whispers are going to be kind of, I think, behind them. And before they charge and attack the hilltop, they're probably going to shoot a bunch of fire arrows. Which I can't believe I'm saying, like, fire arrows and stuff with The Walking Dead. But that's likely what the, their plan is. Luke just looks terrified, though. I mean, I would be too. I think all any of us in this scene here would just be absolutely terrified. And then we have this shot here, which I just think is very, very sad. Now, first of all, I don't know who is behind Judith here. I can't really tell, but it looks like someone is standing behind her. But we have Judith crying here, and on the bottom left corner, you kind of see like this brownish or beigeish. It looks like a shoulder to me. It almost looks like Michonne's shoulder, like she's kind of on her knees and she's talking to Judith, saying her goodbyes. And I just, I think this is what this scene is. I really do. I don't think this is Michonne's, like I don't think Michonne's going to die. You know, I, I just, I... We're getting to that point now where we really do have to start talking about that. We've talked about it, you know, quite a bit over the last few months. I guess over the last year since they announced that Denai Guerrero was leaving The Walking Dead. But we're at the point now where she is going to be leaving. 
we're going to be getting scenes like this. And yeah, I, I just, I don't think they're going to kill Michonne off in a couple of episodes. I just, I don't. I think this scene here, Michonne is saying goodbye to Judith. And, you know, I think Judith is going to be fine because she knows that her mother's going to be fine. And maybe she's super happy that her father's alive and she found that out. But I think still, she's had Michonne there her whole life. And I, I feel like that's probably the, that one aspect to it that a lot of us are going to be talking about after that episode airs is that, yeah, it's cool. Rick's alive and stuff, but Judith never really knew Rick that much. Her, her main parent was Michonne and she's leaving now. Yes, she's going to go find him, but it could be very dangerous. You know, she might not ever see her again. And so it is going to be a very, very sad moment. And I think that's why a lot of people have been saying that Michonne's final episode it's going to make you really happy, but it's going to make you very, very sad. And I think that's that's the sad part to it is Judith is losing another parent here. You know, maybe she's going to reunite with them in the future. She likely will, I think. But she doesn't know that. She's way too young to, to understand that. And I think it's going to be a very, very hard scene. And then we have this shot here of Alpha. And I don't know what is happening here. I really feel like she's like strangling someone here. And maybe it's Lydia or something. I don't know. But she's gone nuts. She's just insane. She has all this blood here. And like, what is that from? This isn't from the Battle of the Hilltop. Again, this is probably from her final episode. I don't think this is from episode 9 or 10. We'll find out, obviously, in a couple of weeks. But they would have mentioned that. I think this is the shot where when we're on episode 11, like the battle part, we're going to be like, oh, that scene hasn't happened yet. So that's probably Alpha's final episode. And then we have this shot here of Alden. He's stuck in a car here with Kelly. And they have a baby. And yeah, this is kind of surprising to me. I wasn't expecting this, but part of me thinks this might actually be from the Whisperer Horde scene. So they're probably at the hilltop or in Alexandria, or they're just stranded somewhere, and they're stuck holding this baby. Like, this is exactly what it's going to be like when Beta unleashes that horde throughout Alexandria, throughout everywhere. People will be trapped in vehicles like this, or people will be trapped in houses. And then we have this epic shot of Michonne again. I mean, I love this shot, and it looks like it's going to be a lot more than just this two. Cool shot here of Rosita during the battle at the hilltop. Some shots of, of obviously Carol, and we see Negan here with Alpha. But then we have Michonne actually swing the bat, which is just like epic. And she actually kind of she lets out a scream as she does it. Is she actually gonna kill someone here? Is she killing Gamma, Beta, Alpha? Probably not. Probably neither of them. But still, really epic shot. Again, I really, really love this teaser trailer. A lot of amazing footage. This right here has just hyped me up more than more than I can explain. I mean, I'm super hyped for The Walking Dead to come back. I can't wait. 12 more days. Remember, if you guys want to check this out, I'll leave a link down below. But post your thoughts down below. Are you guys hyped for Season 10 of The Walking Dead? Are you guys hyped, for, I guess, for the Whisper War to end? Post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.